Hey guys, Jess Halleck here. Today I want to go over something that I get asked probably every time that we're in conversation trying to figure out which halo would be best for you is can I wear a halo straight? Yes. Which one do we go with? So I wanted to show you like on myself what I'm looking for, what I'm considering when it comes to your hair so you can get a good visual and we can make the decision together. Um, so I'm going to show you an original versus a layered straight. So both of these are mine. Both of them have been cut, which kind of skews things, but you can still definitely see the shape difference between the two. So my hair naturally, if I were to wear a layered 14 inch, that's the length of my hair. So regardless of my height, that's where my hair is sitting. Um, I have worn halos ever since my hair was like in a bob and all the way down. And it would just change which one I could go with because I'm always looking for where is your hair the thickest so that you don't have to try as hard to blend. If the hardest thing with extensions is if they're too thin and your hair is thicker, then it's really rough trying to blend them. So that's a benefit of Pale Couture is that they have the two options of the layered versus the original. They're a significant uh, gram difference. The layered halo comes with 30% more hair than the original. So also the layered halo I usually say is like, do you like the hand tied weft look? And the original is more like, do you like the clip-ins or, or um, tape-ins where it's like more natural thickness looking. Um, but those of you who have hair that is cut a certain way or has a certain texture, you might only be able to wear a layered. So I just wanna give you a visual of both. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the layered first. This is um, an 18 that I have cut uh, almost to 16. If I were to measure it, it's like just under a 16. So keep that in mind. But what I wanna show you is the shape. So where a layered is gonna be the thickest is through the middle and then it tapers off at, at the end. So if we're trying to blend a really blunt cut or if you have a lot of thickness somewhere that we're trying to blend um, and we wanna add a few inches of length, I more than likely will go with a layered. If we're just adding two inches um, or if your hair is more on the finer side or your ends are really tapered, then we can go with an original. But again, this is why I wanted to show you a visual. Okay, so you'll notice my hair is not perfectly straight, like slept on it, this is how I will go, and I just brushed it. So a few factors. <clears throat> Those of you when we're considering a, a layered, other than if you just like how it looks, is if you have a blunt cut. So if you have really blunt, and I mean like there is not no layers at all, like it is all blunt at the bottom, then worst case scenario, you'll wanna get your top layer texturized. And that's what I've always done to kind of get around having a blunt cut, because I love how it looks without a halo in. However, blending extensions with that much thickness at the ends and all blunt is kind of tough. So there is tricks around it, which I will show you with this. Okay, so before I put my hair down, I want you to see the shape. I have, again, the layered halo on. So here's my hair. This is only about, a 16 just under so but look where it's the thickest you see a lot of weight from about collarbone and down so let's say that you had um, a bob or shoulder length bob this is the route i would go is i would do a layered 18 and i would recommend cutting it shorter because anytime you cut halos and you make them shorter they look significantly thicker and sometimes that's why we'll go with a 22 inch and we'll cut it to an 18 if your hair is super thick so this is a really easy way for you to see the shape straight and these haven't been straightened with a flat iron i don't recommend doing that just because it is real hair and just like i wouldn't recommend that for your natural hair just because it's a lot of heat i don't recommend it for the halos but what i would do is just mist the halo down uh, lightly with water uh, it doesn't need to be sopping wet and then take a flat brush and blow dry it totally straight and you will get the same look as a flat iron but you will still get the volume of the extensions versus making them super sleek and flat because again that can be hard to blend you want a, a not super sleek texture on the ends because that is the most natural looking okay so here is layered 18. okay this one has been custom colored just so you know um which we do all virtual so that's a plus um but you see how my hair is like it's not perfect but if you saw me out and about you'd be like oh she has straight hair and you wouldn't think really anything of it let me show you the back too so here's the back my ends are down here but i want you to get a good visual so uh some tricks to blending if your hair is super blunt um, then you want to put less hair on top 
rather than more. You know how I always say like, um, comb all the hair from out and around it and make sure that it's like there's nothing tucked in. If you have really thick hair and you have a really thick top layer, then just don't pull as much on top. So instead of scooping super low, you still can wear your halo where you want it, but maybe don't pull out all of the hair so that some of it's tucked in so less hair is sitting on top. Um, another trick if your hair is super thick or blunt is to take these corners. So you have your hair in the corners or you can take your whole bottom layer, but really it's just that the uh, hair in the corners that you'll see. Um, and you can use a clear elastic. And if you use a clear elastic, then for when you don't see it, it does not get tangled in the halo. This is how much hair, like literally it's just the corners that you're gonna pull back, but you can do that. And then when you pull it forward, you're not seeing really heavy. This is this is big if your hair is like really short and blunt and you're like, ah, I just can't, which also I would recommend just straightening your underneath if your hair is that short and that thick. Um, but you can tie it back with an elastic. So that's an option. Okay, so if I were to not have cut this and left it long, this still would have blended perfectly and wouldn't have been a great option. So if your hair is short, and still blunt, maybe we could do a layered 14 inch, but those are the things I'm considering is seeing the shape of where your hair is the thickest and where the halo is gonna sit and where the halo is gonna be the thickest to make sure that we're continuing that shape all the way down. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna show you the original. So unlike the layered, um, the original has all of the weight, it's the thickest, and the bottom. So I would say the bottom four to six inches of an original is where you'll see it being the thickest. I'm going to clip my hair up. And an original, I have been pleasantly surprised how many people can wear originals straight. Um, if your hair is really thick, if you're only going like two inches, you can totally do an original. It is definitely thick enough for that. If your hair, um, with a few exceptions, if you are that person, <laughs> just gonna put a disclaimer out, then maybe not. But for most people, you could. Um, if you're wanting to add a lot of length and your hair is a finer texture, or if you just make sure that, look at my ends, see how they're not like super thick. I wear a halo pretty much every day. So I don't, like I keep them trimmed, but I don't worry about taking it up another inch and making it super blunt just because it's a piece of cake to blend with my extensions. So if you get your hair freshly cut, sometimes you just gotta wait like, two weeks and then it starts to soften. It's not as blunt and difficult. Um, okay, so this is my original 20 inch. I have cut it to an 18. I added some layering to it, but totally different, um, totally different look. So also this is a different, say, well, same, same color halo that I started with, but this is my lighter one. So I've um, if you're like, ooh, that looks different than the other one, that's why. Okay, so here is the original. So I still, again, shape-wise, this is what I was looking for, is the halo is here and it's here. So it fills out the shape of my ends and therefore it blends very well. If I were to see, let's say I had really thick hair and you were to see this, like it's so thin and my hair is sticking out on either side, then I definitely wouldn't wanna do an original because that would be just really tough to blend. So this is a 20. Um, I do have an original 16. It doesn't blend the same and that's why I went with a longer and just cut it. But you see how it's the thickest lower, okay? So this one originally is about here. So I cut it to get the fullness and I just didn't want it that long and then added some layering in there just for blending. But I want you to see the shape difference. So if I had a really blunt cut here, this wouldn't help me in blending because it's the thickest right about here. So again, I'm just trying to convey the things that I'm considering when we're trying to pick which one to go with. Or if you already have one and you're like, oh, I just wanna have a straight one and a waved one, which is super normal, then you might pick a different one for your straight one versus your curled because we're just considering different things. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the back of this one. So my hair is here, okay? But it's still just very, very like natural looking. 
Um, so I can wear either one, and that's primarily with just how my hair is cut. If you were to wash my hair and blow dry it, you'd be like, oh my gosh, I have so much hair because it's fine, but you got a lot of it. So um, I can wear both. I just have to pick different styles for what I'm wearing. Um, if you have a curly texture and it's fine, usually that means your ends are really like kind of wispy at the end. So you do have a lot of options. You can wear the original or the layer. That doesn't mean that you have to go one way or the other. Um, I would just say the people that have uh, thick hair from top to bottom and it's super blunt, then we might only be able to go with the layered. But it also just depends on how hard you want to um, have to work with it for blending. And I will say, always a layered halo because of how much more hair it is will be easier to blend especially if you're new to this um, over an original um, if you have medium to thick hair so if you have fine hair really not worried about it you have lots of options but anyway so there is a visual um, if you have any questions put them in the comments so i can get back to you and if this, this is your first time seeing halos um, we customize them in the salon and ship them directly to you and we do it all virtual and then you have access to myself and my team for any help that you need with your halo going forward. Um, so if you're interested in that, click the link in the description and we can get straight to you. I'm so excited and I love the straight look. I feel like this, maybe with a beanie, a hat, a half up, I'm loving, loving straight. <laughs>